welcome back. Today's video is going to be another goodbye or goodbyes. As I mentioned in my previous one, this is going to be a quarterly thing. And since the first quarter of 2016 has already rolled right on past us, it is now time for me to kind of discuss with you some of the things that I've purchased that have worked for me and some of the things that I've purchased that have not worked for me throughout this first quarter of 2016. As a disclaimer, once again, just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean that it doesn't work for you, doesn't mean that it can't work for you. These are just some of the things that I found that did work for me and some of the reasons as to why some products did work for me and some products that didn't work for me and the reasons behind that. So, so fortunately for me so far this year for this first quarter, I have not purchased a lot of goodbye products. I have, however, purchased a lot of goodbye products. So I am going to be covering with you the kind of the top ones that I've purchased because if I've, if I would cover with you everything that I love this quarter or everything that I purchased that I really like this quarter, we would literally be sitting here for 30, 40 minutes talking about it. And I'm sure that no one wants to hear me ramble about products that I loved this quarter for that long. And so I've narrowed it down to some of the top ones that I find myself grabbing on an everyday basis. So. This is the first product that I'm gonna be covering today. It's the Aveda Smooth Infusion Glossing Straightener. I use this guy all the time to straighten my hair. It's not a heat protectant though, I really wish it was. So you'll have to use a heat protectant separate from this. However, it is a really good smoothing product. So whenever you do see me with my hair straightened, this is what I use and it makes my hair super glossy, super soft, and just super manageable when I am straightening my hair. Another hair product that I purchased this quarter that I am absolutely in love with is the Way Hair Oil. This is a new brand from Jen Atkin, who is the hairstylist for the Kardashian clan. So if you've watched my hair care video with my oil, you know that I love oils. I just love oils. I feel like oils are really good on the hair. They make it nice and shiny and glossy and they're good for your hair and they're just a good way of making your hair less frizzy and healthy looking. This absolutely does that for me. It's not heavy so it does not, like I think I've put two pumps of this today and it, as you can tell it's like really manageable. My hair is really super soft. It's really silky and it's not heavy. It doesn't feel greasy. It's just an amazing little product in this tiny little 1.7 ounce bottle. Really good purchase, definitely we'll be repurchasing that again. Moving on to the face, this is the, the first product that I will be talking about that I obviously need to repurchase. It is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Triple Action Cleanser Toner Makeup Remover. It's a mousse, so it has like a, it's a liquid turn to mousse type of a pump, and I absolutely love it. This is what I use to remove my makeup whenever I am wearing heavy makeup or where I'm wearing quite a bit, especially on the eyes. It's super gentle on the skin, and it smells amazing. Definitely will be repurchasing this guy. Another product that I really, really enjoyed this quarter and I'm continuing to enjoy into the next quarter is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I use this stuff with my Clarisonic and it's amazing. It works with all skin types. So if you have dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, any kind of skin that you have, I feel like this would do a really good job. This does a really great job at of taking away all of the makeup and cleansing your face completely without making it feel dry because I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but certain cleansers will literally make your face feel like if you smile it's literally gonna crack this one does not do that and it has a really great rose water cucumber scent now if you don't like either rose water or cucumber then this product will definitely not be for you because there's no way around it as soon as you open it you smell cucumber and a little bit of rose water so definitely recommend it I like those scents they're nice and calming for me so I'll stick with this guy for cleansing Another product that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I purchased this quarter that I absolutely love is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. So this is supposed to instantly brighten, depuff, and smooth. The depuffing I don't care so much for. The way that you use this is you apply a little bit underneath the eye and then you're supposed to massage with this little metal guy at the bottom along the bottom of the eye in order to depuff. But I really don't have a puffing issue. The reason why this product called to me was because it claims to instantly brighten and smooth, which is what I need for underneath my eyes. There are two different colors, one for light to medium skin tones and one from and one for medium to deep skin tones, which is the one that I use. I simply just apply my foundation, apply this 
onto the bottoms of my eyes and it automatically makes a difference in my dark circles. It does not feel heavy and it doesn't feel like an additional layer of makeup. It's just an additional layer of like moisturizer to me. Does that make sense? This has kind of been like my go-to um, product for everyday makeup. So definitely recommend. One foundation that I was really, really super pleased with is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Now, this one, I don't know why, but I always want to call it Maybelline. It's not Maybelline, it's L'Oreal. And I've even, I think I've even made the mistake of doing that in one of my videos and also on Twitter, which is just like, ugh, I don't know why I was doing that. Anyway, this foundation is amazing. I love the formula. I love the fact that it's long wearing and that it's matte because here in the South, it is getting a little bit on the humid side and I want something that's not gonna feel like it's melting or that's not gonna feel a little too dewy or too oily on my skin. This is why I really love this foundation. I also really like the coverage and I really like the price. So really good foundation. I'm probably the last person to tell you this because this has been out for quite some time and everybody has obviously noticed and taken note that this is an amazing drugstore foundation. But just in case you hadn't heard it, this is definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the moment. Another foundation from the drugstore that I absolutely love is Maybelline. And this is the Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation. So I know they have like a matte formula, but I wanted a dewy formula because when I purchased this, it was during the winter time and I really wanted my skin to feel nice and hydrated and give that dewy glow. You know, I wanted the dewy glow. And so that's why I purchased this and it did not disappoint. I surprisingly got my color correct, like from the beginning. So I was really pleasantly surprised and I was pleased at the amount of um, different kinds of shades that they have. So they have a really wide variety of shades and it's a really good formula. So if you haven't done so already and you want more of a dewy skin finish, definitely pick this up because you will not be disappointed. I absolutely love this foundation. So another product that I'm sure I'm the last to talk about is the Benefit Professional Pore Minimizer. Absolutely love this. I hate my pores. I feel like they are really, really, really big. You're just your own worst critic, and so I feel like they are, and therefore I wanted to try something that claimed to minimize them, which this absolutely does, in my opinion. I apply this before I go in with my foundation, and it's really lightweight, translucent, really silky feeling, and so when I apply this underneath my foundation, I almost feel like my foundation applies a lot more smoothly, and everything just looks a lot more airbrushed. So I really, really like this for that reason, and I obviously also like it because it does minimize my pores, so definitely something that I will be repurchasing, and I hate the fact that I waited so long to even purchase. So another good buy for me is this little miracle powder. This is, you can't tell because I wasn't able to buy like the full size or like the big size that everybody's been buying or that everybody seems to be getting their hands on. I couldn't find it. It was sold out everywhere. This is the RCMA translucent or like no color powder. It's what it's called. RCMA no color powder. I absolutely love this stuff. I love this stuff. It is so inexpensive and it is amazing. It says it's no color and I mean, there's no other way to put it, but yeah, it is no color. It sets my under eye area without any adding any kind of additional anything, and it doesn't feel like I've set my under eye area with a powder. This is a perfect, perfect, inexpensive powder. If you haven't tried it, try it. You will not be disappointed. A palette that I purchased that I was definitely not disappointed by is this Charlotte in Bloom palette. So it comes with 12 shades, three of which are shimmers, and so nine of them are mattes love it for an everyday because I'm not going to be wearing shimmers on my eyelids on a regular basis. But I will apply like I did today a nice matte color on my eye. I like, I tend to like warmer colors than I do any kind of cooler colors. So I really like the fact that this definitely fulfills my wishes when it comes to the warm colors. It has a lot of nice neutrals like I said. A good variety of transition colors as well and it has like the pops of shimmers. Also really like the formula on these eyeshadows. It's really blendable, nice and soft, and it's super pigmented, which is just three big, huge pluses for me. This is definitely a palette that I reach for on a regular basis, and I'm glad I purchased it this quarter. So, Another product that I really loved that I purchased this quarter is the Inglot Gel Liner in 77, which is just as black as it gets. It's so super pigmented and so super dark that I just love it. I love how it glides on the eye and how simple it makes it 
to create any kind of a winged line on the eyes. So I like the fact that it's nice and soft when you're applying it and it's super, super dark. It lasts all day. It's just an amazing little eyeliner. So definitely glad that I purchased this guy and I don't know where I had been the entire time. Like I just, I don't know. I don't know why I hadn't done it sooner, but. First product that I'm going to be talking about is the Tarte uh, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Maracuja? Maracuja, I think, yes. One issue that I had was the fact that this claimed to be medium neutral and it just turned out to be a little bit too light for me. The consistency was just too heavy. It was something that I couldn't get over and obviously it was settling under my lines. It was settling into my lines underneath my eyes and when I tried to set it with any kind of powder, it just made it feel a little too, too heavy. So for those reasons, I really didn't like this product a whole lot. Another product that I was just slightly disappointed with is the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid from Urban Decay. It's exactly like the concealers, so the formula I'm assuming is exactly the same because it definitely feels like it. They have four different colors in this line. They have a lavender, a green, a peach, and a pink. This is the peach, but I was expecting a little bit something a little bit darker. Um, this to me just is a little bit more of a pink than it is a peach and it just didn't really do a whole lot to my under eye area. It didn't really conceal very well. Um, it didn't color correct very well rather like I had hoped it would. It just wasn't dark enough for me and it was just a little bit too light. And so for that reason, I just really didn't dig it a whole lot. This next product was talked, it still is talked about so much and I had such high expectations for it because of it. Could be why I ended up hating it as much as I do. But the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the thing that everyone bakes with, the thing that everyone uses to set their under eye area, the thing that everybody uses to set anything on the face, it's just not for me. It's a little bit too drying. It's not a little bit, it's really drying. It literally feels like, I hate to say it because I know that a lot of people really love it, but it literally feels to me like I have flour on my face. Like that's what it feels like, that heavy and that white. It claims to be translucent, but it absolutely is not. It definitely, like the RCMA, that one is translucent, no color. It absolutely will just set without leaving any kind of whiteness behind. This one does not do that. It, you can definitely tell that you put something underneath the eye, something heavy, something white, <laughs> just really drying. I hated it the entire time I wore it and I've worn it on three different occasions. I tried to apply it on my skin like in different ways. I did it with a brush. I did it with a beauty blender. I did it with a puff. It just did not work for me. Another product that I purchased that I just cannot get into is the L'Oreal Locket hairspray. L'Oreal Lock It Hairspray. It is actually a really good hairspray. So if you're looking for anything that like has really good hold but isn't going to turn white on your hair, this is really good. I really like the way that it sprays. I like how evenly it sprays. I like that it's not like kind of like a jet stream of hairspray in just one spot. However, the scent is just a little bit too much for me. Yeah, a little too strong and perfumey and I just feel like they could have toned it down or they could have gone with a different kind of scent, but of course they're not going to cater to just one individual person. There could be people that really absolutely love the scent of this. I myself, however, cannot. But it is a really good hairspray. It is long lasting. It is strong holding. However, it's just the scent. I can't get over the scent. So, no. And the last thing on my goodbyes list is this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I don't remember where I read it or who I heard it from that this would be a really good cleanser. And so that is the only reason why I purchased it because I figured that it would be nice and gentle on the skin and it's still a cleanser so it should help me remove, you know, the excess makeup that gets left behind after trying to remove it with an actual makeup remover. But it was just a little, I didn't like it. It, it left like a residue on my face. Like it just felt like a film was left behind on my face. Like it, it cleansed, but it didn't really cleanse because it left that film behind. And it was just something that I just could not get over. Like I could feel it on my lips. I could feel it on my face even after I had dried my face. For that reason, I have to say, 
goodbye. So that is it for this episode of goodbyes or goodbyes. Let me know what some of your goodbyes or your goodbyes are. Take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.